SurePoint Advisors is an investment advisor in Brielle, New Jersey. SurePoint Advisors is registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Registration of an investment advisor does not imply any specific level of skill and does not constitute an endorsement of the firm by the commission. Welcome to another episode of SurePoint Advisors Financial Roll Call with James Bay. We are 10-8 in service. This is a podcast for law enforcement by law enforcement. I am James Fay. I'm a retired law enforcement officer and now financial advisor with SurePoint Advisors. And I'm focused on helping law enforcement officers make educated financial decisions that will directly affect their retirement. I truly believe that this podcast will help accomplish that. All right. Well, Governor Murphy has done it. With one stroke of the pen, he has signed the 20 and out burnout bill. Bill S1017. So what does this mean? What does this mean for our listeners, for the law enforcement community? Well, this gives about approximately 8,000 New Jersey police and firefighters with 20 years of service the eligibility to retire right now. And the legislation, which is also known as the burnout bill, allows public safety workers who reach 20 years of service within the next two years to retire as well with a pension. And they could start collecting that pension immediately, regardless of their age. So I figured what a great episode to talk about this 20 and out bill to educate our listeners and the law enforcement community and enable them to create some sort of financial exit strategy if they are really thinking about taking advantage of this 20 and out bill. So I had some concerns when I first heard about it uh, for our listeners and and the law enforcement community. Uh, Three things that really came to mind that I'd like to discuss with you today. The three things that I really uh, am concerned about with this bill from a financial standpoint, if somebody was to go ahead and take advantage of this bill and uh, retire with 20 years of service. um, The three things are liquidity, health benefits, and future employment. So let's start with liquidity. In order to talk about liquidity, I have to educate you a little bit about the pension system that we're going to retire under, right? The police and fire retirement system is a defined benefit plan. What does that mean? A defined benefit plan basically says if you work for so many years, we will give you a percentage of your final year's compensation for the rest of your life. So in this case, 20 and out. It's basically saying that if you work for 20 years, we will give you 50% of your last year's compensation for the rest of your life. That is a defined benefit plan. Now, how does that have to do with, or what does that have to do with liquidity? Liquidity is basically being able to get to your money, right? To turn it into cash, to take care of either an emergency or an opportunity. Whatever reason you need that cash, you need your money to be liquid to you. You need liquidity. So while you're employed with your respected agencies, your pension is liquid through a pension loan. You could get your money, right? By taking a pension loan. Once you retire and take advantage of this 20 and out bill, you no longer have the liquidity of your pension. You can no longer take a pension loan out against your pension. So there's no more liquidity. So in order to combat that, you have to have something else in place on the side, whether it be a regular savings or checking account that you can get to, an emergency account that we speak of uh, in previous episodes here on the podcast, or maybe it's another investment account. Maybe it's that 457 deferred comp account that you've been putting into for 20 years, okay? And now you can get to it. You can access it. So again, Liquidity, liquidity is a uh, factor that I would have uh, any uh, law enforcement officer or listener here to the podcast think about before they go ahead and take advantage of this 20 and out bill. Second one, health benefits. Right now, you might be enjoying health benefits for you and your family um, through your lo- through your department, right, through your agency, right. Once you retire, you are no longer going to have health benefits. You no longer can carry those health benefits into retirement through your respected agency once you retire, okay? And you're not eligible for Chapter 330, which are the state health benefits uh, that are offered to somebody that does 
25 years of service or 30 years of service or more. And um, their, the, their local agency does not offer them benefits upon retirement. So now they can go and secure the Chapter 330 benefits through the state. So that's another concern of mine for the uh, listeners here and the law enforcement community that are thinking about taking the 20 and out bill and uh, retiring that you have to be concerned with health benefits and the monthly premiums that you're going to have to pay for you or if you have a family for you and your family. That's my second concern. The third concern is you have to have a mindset that you are going out and getting another job. Now, if that's what you're going to do, go out and get another job, uh, that's great. That will obviously supply you with some more income monthly. Um, that can take care of uh, a lot of the costs that you're going to incur over uh, you know, the rest of your life. I would imagine that the majority of police officers that are eligible for this 20 and out are young, probably young 40s, mid 40s, um, that will be able to take advantage of this 20 and out. Uh, I would imagine that you're going to have to get out and get a second job or another job, secure another job. Now, with that next employment, you might be able to take care of the first two things that we talked about, which is liquidity and health care, right? Maybe that new job is going to come with health care. That'd be great. That'd take care of that problem, right? So if you have that mindset that you're going to go out and get another job and future employment, um, that's great. Uh, I would definitely encourage anybody that came to speak to me about this 20 and out bill. And I have received numerous calls here in the office in reference to this 20 and out. So people are actually thinking about it, but they're doing their homework too. And we're having great conversations uh, and I'm educating a lot of people, which is great um, in and around this 20 and out bill. So again, the three concerns are liquidity, healthcare, and the mindset that you're going to have to go out and get another job. All right. Let's talk about one other thing, and that's the actual impact, the financial impact that this could have moving forward. And the best way to do that is to talk about actual numbers. So I broke it down um, to uh, basically state if you do leave, what is the financial impact that will, you, know, you will incur moving forward. So using the average law enforcement salary in 2021, which is $115,000, and that is for an officer. If you are of rank, it's obviously going to be probably a little higher. But this is just the average conservative 2021 salary for a law enforcement officer, which is $115,000. If we were to take 50% of that, that would be 74,000, uh, 74, I'm sorry, that would be $57,500. Half of one fifteen, fifty-seven thousand five hundred dollars $57,500. Now, if you run that over the next five years, right? So let's say you're, you're up in the air whether to leave now or to wait until you're 25 years, okay? So if we were to run that over the next five years, that would be a lump sum in five years that you would have made just for waking up in the morning of $287,500. $287,500 over the next five years just for waking up. If you stayed with your respected agency and you were to get a conservative 2% raise every year, okay, in five years, the $115,000 would be $126,970. Okay, that's what a conservative 2% raise over the next five years 126970 That's basically um, what the salary would be if you stayed for the five years. If you took 65% of the 126970 that's $82,530 in retirement just for waking up if you stayed the five extra years. So if we subtract the 57.5, which is the 50% of today's salary, 115, from the 82.530, which is the 65% of the last year's salary if you stayed the five years, it's a difference of $25,030. Okay, 25030 
So what we do to get how many years it would take to basically make up that money that you would leave on the table if you stayed as opposed to if you left, right? You take the $287,500 and you divide it by the $25,030 and you will come up with 11 and a half years. So basically it will take you 11 and a half years to make up that money that you are leaving on the table if you stay for another five years. But the concerns are you have to worry about liquidity, you have to worry about health care, and you have to be in a mindset that you're going out to get another job. If you go out and get another job, and let's say you're making $40,000 a year over the next five years, that's an additional $200,000 that you made on top of the $287,500 you made just for waking up. And that would equal about $487,500. If you divide that number by the $25,030, that's 19 and a half years it would take you to make up for that money that you made over those five years just for waking up, for leaving early, as opposed to staying the next five years. So from a numbers guy, a financial guy, uh, I wanted to uh, impart those numbers on you. Uh, I know it's tough over a podcast to actually think about them. If you listen to this again, maybe you can actually write them down. Maybe you can use it, you know, do it using your number. What's going to be your last year's salary that you're going to retire under and take 50%? If you need help with these numbers, by all means, contact me in the office. I can help you out. We can work through it. We can go over all the concerns. All right. So, 1011, let's go over what we learned here in the podcast today, this episode. All right. The 20 and out bill. Approximately about 8,000 New Jersey police and firefighters are eligible right now for the 20 and out bill. Okay. And you can retire with 20 years of service. If you reach 20 years over the next two years from when this uh, bill was signed, which was April 20th of this year, you'll, you are eligible to retire. So there's going to be more than 8,000 people. It is the burnout bill. It allows the public safety worker, which is a member of the police and fire retirement system, who reached 20 years of service in the next two years to retire and collect your pension immediately, regardless of your age. The three concerns I have. Remember, liquidity, right? Being able to access your money. You lose liquidity with your pension when you annuitize, when you leave your job. You no longer have access to a pension loan. There is no more liquidity. Health care. How are you going to take care of your health care needs when you separate service from your respected agency? Right? You no longer have access to health care with 20 years and out. And you no longer have access to Chapter 330, which is the state benefits that are offered to law enforcement officers that uh, do not get benefits through their agencies after 25 plus years of service. And then the last one we talked about is the mindset of employment, future employment, um, being able to realize that you're going to need to go out and get another job. All right, and then we went over the numbers, and the numbers don't lie. And again, we can uh, plug in your numbers, right? Take half of your last year's salary, whatever it's going to be when you retire and when you separate service. Uh, using the average law enforcement salary, we were able to ascertain that it would take about 11 and a half years to make up that money that you will get over the next five years just for waking up, right? Uh, if you add a uh, job in there that you average $40,000 over the next five years, that can move up to 19 and a half years before you make up that money that you're, that you're getting over the next five years just for waking up. So... Uh, again, like I said before, if, uh, if you need help with these numbers and you want to sit down, by all means, reach out for me uh, here in the office, 732-876-3777. My email can be found on the website, surepointadvisors.com. And, um, you know, this is not an easy decision. There are a lot of people that are in a different financial situation. There is no cookie cutter plan. Everybody needs to sit down and come up with some sort of financial exit strategy 
uh, moving forward, especially if you're considering this 20 and out bill and taking advantage of the uh, early retirement 20 years. So, with that, this has been another episode of Short Point Advisors Financial Roll Call with James Fay. We'll be 10-7 out of service.